Queenstown is one of New Zealand's major tourism gateways, but its mountainous terrain causes operational challenges for airlines. While airlines have mitigated these challenges with the use of performance-based navigation, the introduction of night flights has required additional measures. This is a view of Queenstown from the south, showing the kind of terrain surrounding the airport. The Queenstown Basin and the airport are in the clear patch in the middle of the picture. This shot shows the view on a late evening approach. The terrain is still there, but is harder to discern. And the relatively few ambient light sources around the airport means there are less visual cues for pilots. One of the things Air New Zealand uses to improve night operations is a head-up display, or HUD. This gives pilots essential data while allowing them to keep their eyes on the approach. Information on the HUD includes speed, altitude, direction, and rate of descent. A flight path indicator shows the aircraft's trajectory. To aid night operations, new lighting systems were installed at Queenstown Airport. These give pilots more visual references as they transition from instrument approach to a visual landing. This is what the pilot sees on final approach. The horizontal line of white lights in front are lead-in lights, which help with alignment. The two green bars of lights mark the actual start of the runway. The four larger lights on either side of the runway are the Precision Approach Path Indicator, or PAPI. Two whites and two reds means the aircraft is on the correct track. The two smaller sets of horizontal lights further down the runway mark the end of the touchdown zone, a special feature added for Queenstown. The following video animation shows a complete RMP approach to Queenstown, finishing with a night landing. How advanced technology delivers access to Queenstown day and night. Through the use of onboard technologies and satellites, required navigation performance, or RNP, is enabled and the aircraft begins its approach at the initial approach fix. From here, the onboard computers keep the aircraft on a predefined path, shown here as the red line, as it makes its way towards the airport. The system ensures the aircraft remains within a defined containment area, shown here by the yellow boxes. Think of it like a virtual highway in the sky. The aircraft is controlled laterally and vertically, and its position is constantly updated through the use of multiple satellites. The system is equally effective day or night, and in clear or cloudy conditions. The final approach fix signals the final stage. At decision altitude, the pilot goes visual and decides whether the aircraft will continue the approach or go around, then disengages the autopilot. Here's what the pilot will see with the upgraded runway and lighting infrastructure. The advanced onboard systems ensure precise touchdown and deceleration.